Today we'll be drawing what I'd like to call a sweet cow. Step by step, we'll use a brand new free brush set that I'm excited to share with you. You can download it along with the color palette at the description below. They are free to download. If you follow this tutorial and post your drawing on Instagram, please tag me at Tattyworks. This way I'll be able to see it and I'll promote it in my stories. And now, without further ado, let's get started! First we need to fill the layer with the color for the background. I will go with this light blue. After that, I will create a new layer and I'm going to Actions to turn the drawing guide on and set the symmetry to vertical. Click Done. Make sure that the drawing assist is on and I will go and grab this orangey color and the studio pen from Inkin to draw the head. The brush size around 30%. I will start drawing from here and going up until the edges are connected. Adjust the size of the head and I will draw a little bit here to make it more round. At this part we are just connecting the edges to fill the shape with the color. After that I will create a new layer and turn the drawing assist on. To pick the pure white color I'm going to the disk and I'm double tapping on this white area. Let's draw kind of an oval here starting from this point and going up to connect the edges. I will click edit shape to adjust the shapes a little bit by dragging these blue dots over here. Let's move this one. Just play around until you are fully satisfied with the shapes. After that we can fill the layer with the color. I will go to razor to fix the small parts here on top to make it more round. And also I will erase a small part here at the bottom to add kind of a smile to the cow. Let's erase a little bit more. Now it looks fine. Now I want to add some details on the snout and also add some fluffiness to it. For that I will be using the studio pen and the white color to draw small circles all around the snout just like this, trying to make them the same size, ok. Now I will create a new layer, go back to the head and click on select. On this new layer I will be drawing with the drawing assist on these shapes as you see they don't go outside the head because the head is selected. Fill in the layer and now I will draw the eyes with this dark color on a new layer and with the drawing assist on. Let's lower the size of the brush and I want to make the eyes big because we are not drawing realistic. It is more like a fantasy or cartoon style. So we can exaggerate some parts. I'm filling the layer. And I will pick the white color from history. On a new layer with the drawing assist. I will draw these white ovals inside. Connecting. And I will fill the shape. Let's go to our layer and swipe two fingers to the right to set the alpha lock. Let me pick this color and the soft 
brush from airbrushing. I will draw here in the lower part of the eye to add dimension to it. Now let's go back to the studio pen brush from Inkin. And I will grab this brown color here in the middle to draw another oval for the pupil. Let's edit the shapes a little bit by dragging these dots to the sides. And after that, I can fill the shape with the color. Now let's go and change the color for the darker one. And I want to use the brush from my new brush set, which is called lollipop. It has this wet edge and you draw simply by tapping on the canvas to get this texture. Now let's pick the white color and go back to the studio pen. I will create a new layer and turn the drawing assist on. We will be drawing the light reflection inside the eye you can draw on any of the eyes, because as you see, what we draw here is mirrored on the opposite side. So we simply draw two different shapes, small one and another one that is bigger. And we fill them with the white color. Now let's go to eraser and set it to soft airbrush. Using low pressure, let's erase slightly all over the shape and a little bit more at the lower part of it to make the transition softer. Let's go and pick the black color and I will merge these layers for now to create a new layer. I will turn the drawing assist on and now we will be drawing the lashes. Try to keep your lines smooth and be more confident while drawing because it really matters a lot. When your lines are smooth and perfectly shaped, it makes your drawing look more clean and professional. Let's draw another lash here and one more over here. Okay, the lashes are done. The cow looks girly and playful as we wanted. And now I will merge these two layers. Let's go to this layer and I will click on this select tool. Using the freehand option I will draw this shape above the eye. After that I will select this orange color from the color palette and I will be using the brush, another brush from my new brush set which is called Sugar. It has this interesting texture. I'm just going around the selected area and put a little more pressure on the upper part of it. We will do exactly the same for the second eye. Now let's swipe two fingers to the right to set the alpha log and with the same orange color I will add some shading on this layer. 
and also I will add reflected light with this light blue. Okay, and now I want to add some shading on the head itself. For that I will swipe the fingers to the right to set the alpha lock and I will pick this brown color still using the sugar brush. I will just go around the shape with this brush. Mm, I think we can change the head's shape a little bit. I will drag this dot to make it a little bigger. Now it is better, I think. And now I will pick this dark brown color and I will add the second shading on the edges of the shape here on top and also on the sides. I will also add the light area here in the middle and some reflected light with this light blue color here on top of the head. It will add dimension to the shape. Let's go to this layer, select the alpha lock and with this orange color and the sugar brush I will add the shading on the sides and also the reflected light. Let's create a new layer and we go to this one and click on select. After that we will be drawing on this layer with the drawing assist on using the brown color and the studio pen from Inking. We will draw this shape for the nose. Let's fix the edges here a little bit and connect the edges here to fill the layer. Let's set the alpha lock and I will go to select the sugar cloud brush And with the dark color, I will be drawing around the nose shape. And with the light color in the middle. Let's lower the size and add more highlights here. And also kind of reflected light at the bottom. Let's pick this color and the studio pen to draw the nostrils. I will set the drawing assist on a new layer and let's draw these shapes and fill them with the color. Let's go to eraser set to soft brush and I will slightly erase these parts Let's go to the airbrush and to pick the soft brush. I will pick this yellowish color, lower the size and I will be drawing here on top of the nostril. Then I will change the color for the darker one and I will draw here right below.
Let's go to the disk and double tap on the white area to select the pure white color. Now I will create a new layer above this one, turn the drawing assist on and I will go and select the studio pen brush. We will draw the mouth. Now I will swipe two fingers to the right to set the alpha lock and I will pick this dark color from the color palette. I will be using the sugar brush from the new brush set, lower the size and I will apply more pressure on top to make the solid color and lower it while going down. Then I will add some orange color and also the reflected light with this light blue. Right at the bottom. Let's go and select this color here and the studio pen from Inking. I will create a new layer below the heads layer and I will turn the drawing assist on. We will be drawing the ears, just making these overlooking shapes, connecting the ends and after that I will fill the shapes with the color. Now I will move it a little bit down, right here and after that I will create another layer below this one and also drawing assisted. I will draw these small parts of the ears and fill them with color. Now let's go back to this layer, swipe two fingers to the right to select alpha lock. I will pick this color and also the sugar brush to add shading to this layer. Let's draw around the shape like this all around it and after that I will switch to the light color and add some highlight here inside then let's select the darkest color and draw here on top and on this side. We are now going to this layer. I will deselect the drawing assist but select alpha lock. Pick this color again, still using the sugar brush. I will add the shadow here, also here, and the second shading with this darkest color over here. Also highlight on this area. Let's go to the second part. Pick this color again, add in the shadow here, then the darkest one here and the highlight, just as we did with the previous part. Here I want to add some more darkness. Let's go to this layer. And I will select the eraser set to sugar brush. I will erase the edges and this way I will soften the transition. As you see the drawing assist is still on so what we erase on this part 
is also mirrored on another part. Now it looks much better, I think. We are done with the head here. So I just go and merge all the layers. Let's go to transform tool and I will turn the head. We don't need magnetics now. I will move it to the side a little bit and rotate more. Now it's fine. Time to proceed to the body. I will select this base color that we used for the head and I will be using the studio pen from Inkin. On a new layer right below the head I will draw these curves starting from here and going down. Another curve here on the right. I need to connect the ends to fill the shape with the color. Let's select alpha lock by swiping two fingers to the right and I will pick this darker color and the sugar brush to add some shading. I will increase the size and just draw here on the sides using low pressure on the pencil. Then I will go with this darkest color and draw here. And here too. This will be our second shading. After that I will add this light yellow color here. And here. Let's create a new layer above this one. And I will select the clipping mask. Go into the studio pen brush and I will draw this white shape over here. Connecting and filling. Let's select alpha lock again. Go into my palette, picking the orange color and the sugar brush. I will add the shading slightly here at the bottom. Now I will create one more layer and with the darkest color and the studio pen I will add this shadow under the head. This way. Connect the edges again and fill the shape. Let's go to Gaussian Blur and I will blur it just a little bit. And also I will go and set the opacity to around 64-63%. Now I will go and create a layer below these layers, selecting the base color again and with the studio pen I will draw another curve here, going down like this and on the right side it will go this way, connecting and filling the shape. Let's select alpha lock, pick the darker color. And we will do all the same using the sugar brush. First shading here on the sides and also inside and at this side. Then the darkest color and draw again. Add in some sugar texture. and here. 
let's switch to the light color and add the reflected light here and here I think we can add reflected light on this layer too here on the sides and also here let me select the light yellow and I will add the highlights here inside the shape and a little bit here I'm going to create a new layer below this one and pick this base color and also studio pen I will be drawing the tail it has a curvy shape going like this and after that I will go to the smudge tool and pick the twig brush from organic brush set if you watched my pattern tutorial you might have seen that I was using the same brush for smudging the bird this brush is nice for creating the hairy structure so I just smudge slightly here on the end I will select alpha lock and pick this darker color together with the sugar brush going to add the shading first shading color now let's change for the darker one and I will add more shading on these parts after that I will switch to the light blue and add the reflected light here in the middle on the right side of the tail I think it's ready I'm going to create a new layer below these layers and select the studio pen with this light orange color I will start drawing the horns that will have the shapes of croissants I'm drawing the first layer connecting the edges and filling the color I will draw three more layers the same way Now let's go back to the first layer and select alpha lock by swiping two fingers. I will go to my new brush set and I will select the bread brush. This brush has this interesting feature that it is already set to multiply and every stroke you make will create a darker shade. So we are working on these layers, creating this texture and also adding the colors around the shapes. Doing the same with the rest of the layers. Well, the first horn is ready. And I'm going to merge all these layers. After that I will duplicate the layer and I will go to the transform tool to flip it horizontally. I will move it here, rotate and find the best place for it on the left side. Like this. Now I want to go to adjustments 
and I will lower the brightness and I will change the saturation to make it look a little bit different from the first horn. Now let's go back to this layer and I will pick this dark color and the sugar brush to add the shadow on the right side. Now I will pick this light blue color to create the reflected light effect. And also with the light yellow color I will add the highlight here on the inner side of the horn. Let's do the same with another horn, but I will pick this orange color and draw here on this side, creating the shadow. Also reflected light. And for the highlight I will create a new layer and set it to screen. I will be using the same light yellow color, but it will look a bit different because of the blending mode. The horns are ready. Now it's time to start working on the background. For that I will go here and create a new layer. I will pick this color and the studio pen from Inkin. Let's draw a few different shapes. Place them randomly and fill them with color. You can draw in your own way, it doesn't really matter. Just make the background look pretty. Now I will create a new layer. Let's go back to this one and set the opacity to around 54-55%. Going back to this and I will select the lighter color and the noise brush from touch-ups. I will draw with this brush on the upper part of the canvas with full opacity. And then I will go and switch to the darkest blue color and draw on the lower part of the canvas. Ok, it's done. Now I will create another layer and go to the disk to pick the pure white color. Let's go to the brush set and pick one of the stamps that I created. Let it be the cupcake. I will rotate it. Make it smaller. Now let's select another sweet like this ice cream for example and I will tap on the new layer to draw it. Resize and place it here. Then I will do the same with a couple of sweets more. Now I will merge these layers and I will go to the airbrush to add some colors here and here on the cupcake.
don't press too much because we don't want our background to be too bright I'm just adding the color slightly Now let's create a new layer and if you go to the brush set and scroll down you will see that I have this chocolate texture here. I will just draw this way and after that I will go to eraser and set it to studio pen. I will simply erase the edges and make them straight. And now I will just rotate it and place it here. Well, the cow is ready. Isn't it cute? Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notifications. See you in the next tutorial.